three to three days every six months. So if, you did, if you hadn't used did any you put of onions it. in it? No, just a pickle. I could have, but I didn't. Oh, because I thought I heard her talking about chopping up onions for your patty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just frying up the mashed potatoes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now that you mention onion, I may put a little onion in the skillet. How many are you going to eat, ma'am? I'm, I'm, I only got one patty in there. Oh, it's not three? No, that's, no, that's me. Oh, okay. I'll either put black pepper or cayenne on here, probably cayenne. Okay. Cayenne makes them hot? No, just, I don't ever use cayenne to the point of hot. Oh, okay. They look good, those potato patties. Never mm -hmm. heard of that. I mean, I guess this is kind of like hash browns. Yeah, you just use the, whatever potatoes you have left over. You could cook them for breakfast. Oh, okay. I'll come over here and take a look at it. So turkey and um, potato patties for breakfast. You can always use leftover potatoes for breakfast. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ooh, those. You put some bell pepper on it. What's that on it? Bell pepper. It looks good with that bell pepper. Nice. They get different, but they don't change. I was just finding a spot for the bell pepper. And how you knew which one is yours? Well, I figured if you put bell pepper on one, that was going to be yours. Well, that makes sense. I feel like that. But that's, it just was finding a spot for the bell pepper. Mm-hmm. I see the onions. Ooh, that looks good. I think I like it with the onions and the bell peppers. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Before. I just remember Deborah saying that. She was talking about potato patties. That's how I found out about potato patties. She said, oh, the day after we would make potato patties. She said, I love potato patties well, we with onions. Our, we never had mashed potatoes for the holiday. Mm -hmm. And just no bell pepper. Thank you. Yeah, now that is after Thanksgiving breakfast. Mm -hmm. Wait until you get your coffee. Half and half is good in coffee. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think somebody else invited her here. She said she might go to that. So she didn't think she's gonna make it so good. How's it definitely not her that's too far for her? It's too far. She's working it out. Jesus, we thank you for this Thanksgiving after feast, and we love you, Lord. We ask you to bless the food that we're about to receive from the nation of our fathers. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You could have put, put some black pepper. I put black pepper in the eggs, mm. but I didn't know about putting cayenne, so I just put a little. This is a good breakfast. Oh, this is good. Oh, these potato patties, I'm telling you. Mm. I never had them before, but now, mmm. It's better than um hash brown. I like them better than hash brown. Mm hmm My goodness. That crispiness. You gotta have the crispiness to make them good. Mm. Well now I know. When she said potato patties at the Thanksgiving, I was like, potato patties, what's that? Mm. Deb and them had them at Thanksgiving. That's how I heard about them yesterday at the Thanksgiving party. Deborah said, oh, I'd love to have mashed potatoes because then we make potato patties the next day. And I was like, what's a potato patty? Mm. I've done it before. I don't know. Maybe we don't. I don't but I should have done it before. If I have potatoes, this is what I do. Mm. And I didn't learn it from low green because we didn't have it.
some families might not have leftover potatoes. You know, you gotta have leftovers to have it. I don't remember us having 